perhaps the most famous private dining destination in the country, Cloud Tayag's Balet Dutung in Angela City. It's his wooden house, and this is where he hosted the great Anthony Bourdain. Chef Cloud has another destination in Pampanga, where he serves all his childhood favorites. Available every day, no reservations needed. Welcome to his throwback restaurant, Downtown 1956. This is one of my favorite books. I've read this book from cover to cover at least twice. This is by Cloud Tayag from Pampanga. The other favorite author of mine is someone named, a little someone named Anthony Bourdain. You may have heard of him. And his book had a similar title, A Cook's Tour. And funny, when Anthony Bourdain finally landed in the Philippines, guess who his tour guide was? None other than our special Philippine star correspondent and member of the Let's Eat team, Chef Cloud Tayag. Hello. And his much better wife, the lovely... Hello. Mary Ann Tag, a.k.a. Darling. Darling. Correct. My darling. Right. You really invented private dining for me in the Philippines. It all started with Balet Dutong. Now all over Manila, private dining is a thing now. But the biggest influence really was Balet Dutong. How will you differentiate Balet Dutong to downtown 1956? Well, um, first of all, Balet Dutong is my reservation yes. only. And it's a sit-down, like, 10-course meal and uh, you know, it takes about three to four hours. Yeah, yeah. So you can say fine dining mm -hmm. thing. So uh, downtown 1956, on the other hand, it's a fast casual family dining. You can come in from 9 a.m. to 11 p.m., seven days a week, and the food is more casual. In the 60s, people were not using powdered meat to flavor their food. Yeah. Yeah. So this is how we do our food here. It's not like even your sinigang, it's not powder. The slow cooking. Yeah, we still bone bones to flavor the food. In the 60s, that's how food was cooked, right? even in homes. Nowadays, even in houses, they used already the shortcut. Right? When we're here in Pampanga, obviously the first thing people look for, what's the number of one food for, food we're known for? Is sisi, sisi, right? yeah. It's become a national food now. You go international. You can it's say international it. food yeah. now, right? Especially How did it state. start here in Pampanga? Well, basically, you know, there's this. Uh, it's documented in this yeah. Spanish Kapampangan uh, dictionary, uh, written by this uh, Padre Bergano in 1732. The word sisig means it's like a vinaigrette, a salad served with a vinaigrette. It can be green papaya or a mango dipped in vinegar and it's given to uh, infanticipating women, pregnant women. Parang naglilihi. Ah, you want something okay. That's sisig. That's the first sisig. Yeah. When the baby was nearing its turn, the, term. Yeah. the woman was fed boiled pig's ears dipped in vinegar again. So that to make the baby stronger or something, yeah. Yes, bones. the baby's bones stronger now. That you know, So how did it become in the current form now, well, in nationwide? The, in the yeah. early 1970s, this lady by the railroad track, we, who we call the legendary Adin Lusing, yeah, yeah Adin yeah. Lusing Konanan, she in a way reinvented the original sisig dip in vinegar. She grilled the boiled pig's ears and then put the condiments, the, the thing. But that was the initial. It was also served cold. But this other guy, there's another guy who copied Aling Lusing Sisig dipped in vinegar by placing it in what a sisig plate. Yeah. And this, is, uh, this was uh, Dick Pamituan. Benedict Pamituan. He opened Sisig Benedict. Tito Marian, what's your favorite Kapampangan food growing up? I like the Tad. Mm -hmm. Tad is like a. Uh, Dinaguan. This is actually my favorite here in downtown. Well, yeah. that's my version of the Kapampangan rice dish. It's also popular in Bulacan, the biringhe. What is the biringhe? It's a sticky rice, rice cake, basically. That is saved savory. Okay, and this yeah. is your Madrid Fusion that's showcase. The Port Belly adobo. It's like a, a adobo confit, meaning uh, it's done in the French way of salt marinating it overnight and then cooking in its own fat. Mm -hmm. And then the finishing is crispy on the edges mm -hmm. and then buttery soft inside. Wow. You would eat with the talangka rice. I yeah. need to dry it, right? This is a very rich pork dish. Yeah, it's a very it? nice combination.
So some people will go to downtown 1956 just for this. And this is exactly, maybe this is the culmination of all the halo-halos in Pampanga where we become very famous for halo-halo, right? And uh, what makes this the quintessential Pampanga halo-halo? When we talk about halo-halo, uh, in Pampanga, you cannot have more than three or four that's true. Asaho. That's true. Unlike the Tagalog version, uh, San Jose ng Halo. San Literally. Sarap. Yeah. Literally, you know, you have so much uh, multicolored, multi textured thing, but most of them are tasteless. True. The term that I like to exaggerate, yeah. because Exage. you can just get the banana here. There's, but what, are, what are the components? Well, here? what Ooh. we have the beans, the beans, and it's mashed. Okay. It's like parang halaya na siya. Right. Then ube, ube. halaya, and then the cream corn. Okay. And then the uh, leche plan. Okay. So for, and yeah. for me, the pinaka golpe de gula, you have to call that. Right. The uh, coup de gras is the, I call it, crema de pastillas. Crema de pastillas, which is basically. It's carabao's milk pastillas. It's like halfway pastillas. It's so like it's a, like liquid pastillas. Liquid pastillas, you can which call it. Which you so, pour. On here, instead on here, of milk or yeah. evaporada. Evaporada. The, the general one is evaporada. Yeah. Everywhere you go around it's the world. Look how, see how, thick. how thick it is. Let's pour it slowly. It's very so, thick. It's very viscous. So it, it literally, it's like a condensed carabao's milk. So this okay. is the perfect ending. Um, it, it's now, so after tasting all the components, by the way, my favorite here is the beans. The yeah. beans? Yeah. The mash and then now I'm mashing everything up together, so this will now slowly become a shake, a smoothie, and uh, I guess we'll end it there. Thank you for a wonderful culinary journey and history lesson of Pampanga cuisine, and uh, I'll end it with a with a shot, a shot of your pastillas. <laughs> Let's drink. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! It's it's liquid pastillas. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Mmm!